So, let's go ahead and talk about it. Lomachenko is going to get a lot of heat for this fight. Now, um, on August the 5th, on ESPN, Vasil Lomachenko was fighting Miguel uh, Mariaga. I know I'm probably um, butchering his name, but basically you may remember him. He fought um, Nicholas Walters before Nicholas Walters fought Jason Sosa. You know, remember, Jason Sosa was uh, Lomachenko's last fight. So, Miguel Mariaga is 25-2 um, and two with 21 KOs, but here's the thing. He's moving up to 130 pounds to fight uh, Lomachenko, which is why Lomachenko is probably going to get a lot of heat. And if you don't know, um, Orlando Salido turned down $720,000. That, um, that's likely either was or close to a career payday for him to not fight Lomachenko again. So he's really, really taking, you know, like that shit serious as far as like, I beat Lomachenko. And it's uh, heavily rumored that um, Orlando Salido was to fight on that high profile card of Mayweather McGregor um, against um, uh, Javante Tick Davis, the IBF. 130 pound champion and maybe he'll make more money with that fight i don't know or maybe he just feels that he has a better chance to beat davis even though he beat lomachenko but lomachenko was a much you know better fighter so it all depends but in my personal opinion i feel that um that he didn't take the lomachenko fight because um he feels he could beat tank davis in my personal opinion now rick and Dow, excuse me um lomachenko is going to get a lot of heat because people are like well you know, he, of course, he, he ducked Rigondeaux, but it's like, well, wait a minute. Rigondeaux just fought a couple of weeks ago, right? This fight has happened on August the 5th. So you got to think that Showtime, not Showtime, uh, Aram and, and and ESPN and the team had already negotiated or discussed maybe a month or two months ago that Lomachenko is going to be fighting on August the 5th. Let's get him in there with Orlando Salido. So how could they be negotiating with Rigondeaux, especially with a fight that's going to take a lot of political maneuvering? you know, to get done because Rock Nation and Bob Arum haven't been working together on that type of scale. Also, uh, Lomachenko's manager is uh, Igles Klamis, who is the same person who manages Sergey Kovalev. And we see how that team dealt with Rock Nation and Rick uh, Rock Nation fighter. So people are going to already, already, the, 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 how can I put it? It's not propaganda, but the lack of education on the situation is going to start taking over. People are going to say, ah, he's fighting this Mary Yagov guy. Why didn't he fight Lomachenko? You know, they can't just, they, they got a new deal with ESPN. They can't just say, okay, you know what, we're not going to fight uh, Mariaga. You know, we're going to fight uh, Rigondeaux, so let's move this ESPN date that we just got and fight him. It don't work like that. They already had this date set in stone, so I figured Lindo Lee Toledo was the first option. Then um, they probably had a second option, and then Miguel uh, Mariaga was a third option. But with Rigondeaux just fighting a couple of weeks ago, right, was that June the 17th? June the seventeenth, and then having a fight in August, you know that's doesn't just it just that's not even two months, you know. So you know, even though I feel that Rigondeaux and a Lomachenko fight won't happen, you know, but it couldn't happen now. So don't fall for the bullshit of people saying, you know, well Lomachenko, you know, why didn't he choose Rigondeaux? It just no, come on, come on, use your head. It don't make sense. He just had a fight, and no telling how long this date has been negotiated, you know, for him. So they probably really wanted to kick off ESPN top rank on ESPN, and I can believe it, with Pacquiao Horn, we put Pacquiao on ESPN, no matter who he fought, you know, then we uh, got Lomachenko versus Orlando Salido on ESPN, that would have been big, you know, and then you have uh, Terrence Crawford versus Julius Ndungu for the WBC, WBO, WBA, IBO, IBF, and the Ring Magazine, undisputed, you know, on ESPN, so I can see what they were trying to do. So I understand that Lomachenko is going to take a lot of heat for taking this fight, especially since the guy that's moving up. But if you really, really look at the 130-pound division, he couldn't fight Miguel Burchek. He couldn't fight Takeshi uh, Takashi Miyori. He couldn't fight uh, Jezreel uh, uh, Corrales. You know, he couldn't fight Javante Davis. You know, then you look at the WBO rankings, you know, of the top 15 that he could fight. You don't know any of those people. You know, unless you want to talk about Orlando Cruz or Jose Pedraza, but... Alinda Cruz just fought not too long ago. Then you got Tevin Former out there, but Tevin Former's chasing Javante Davis. Tevin Former and Lomachenko has actually sparred with each other in the past. So you can say, well, why Tevin Former didn't get the shot? There's questions you can ask. But I can look at it like he's going to take some heat for this fight, but he shouldn't take heat, and people shouldn't say he ducked Loma, that he's ducking Rigondeaux. It just doesn't make sense. You think he just was like, oh, shit, Rigondeaux about to fight me and Herbie signed his contract against Miguel Miaga or Mariaga. 
You know, this was the date that he had to fight. Lomachenko fought. I mean, um, Rigondeau fought on June the 17th. Lomachenko probably knew back in fucking, what, you know, April that he's going to be fighting in August. And we know, it's known, and it's out there now, that um that uh, Lomachenko and Orlando Salims were in talks. So let's not forget, when the time was there for Rigondeau to fight Lomachenko, it's all out there now. <coughs> it's all out there now. Loma, uh, uh, Rigondeau was concerned about the weight. The fight, they were ready to get it done. And people, of course, they're going to say, you know, no, nah, Bob Aaron wouldn't dare put Lomachenko in there with Rigondeau because Rigondeau, yo, Bob Aaron is pissed at Rigondeau. And he feels that Lomachenko can beat Rigondeau. And his team does. And a lot of fans do. Even though it's like a 50 50 fight to hardcore fans. But that wasn't the reason. Don't believe that shit. People are always thinking, you know, it's getting too old now to the point. It's getting really old. How long has this shit been going? Like seven, eight years? Which is like, oh, blame Bob Aaron for everything. You know, he's the one keeping the fighters away from him, you know, everybody. This shit's old now. You know, it's old. And Teacher Controversy, this is Teacher Controversy Live. Please subscribe.